We're the Fiber Optic Association, the International Professional Society of Fiber Optics. And we're going to be your guide exploring a career in fiber optics. Fiber optics is a way of communicating using pulses of light through hair-thin strands of ultra-pure glass. Fiber optics has been in use for almost 40 years now, supplementing signals over radio waves and copper wire. Why do we use fiber optics? Because of its information carrying capacity. This promotional photo from AT&T 40 years ago shows even then how one small optical fiber could carry more information than that giant copper cable in the background. Today that fiber can carry a million times more signal than it could then 40 years ago. The fibers we use to send signals are the size of a human hair and they're so pure and they're so clear that if the oceans were as clear we could look down in the ocean and see the Titanic 12,000 feet below. This photo taken by NASA from the International Space Station shows where people live around the world by where they have their lights on at night and we can show how they're connected these are the roots of all the submarine cables that connect the world today. All of these cables are made out of optical fiber. We zoom in on the United States, you can see how all those undersea fiber optic cables connect to all the cables in America that provide the internet backbone. This is how we communicate today. Using your smartphone, playing Pokemon Go, or you're on the internet on your computer or your tablet, you're using fiber optic communications. Who builds these fiber optic networks we use? They're built by skilled technicians who've been trained to design, install, and operate these networks. Many of them are trained in FOA schools around the world. Where do these technicians work as they're building these networks? Well, that's some interesting stories. Let's look at some of the places that they work building fiber optic networks. Here's a crew using heavy machinery out in the countryside bearing underground fiber optic cables the typical cables that connect long-distance phone networks and build the backbone of the Internet. This tech is working under the streets of a large metropolitan city in California, building a network that carries all of the city's communications. This tech is working in the suburbs, installing a fiber-to-the-home network for Verizon Fios. Lots of techs work in large office buildings in big cities around America, building the fiber optic cable systems that are used for computer local area networks and phone systems. Patients have large computer systems that allow all of their employees to do their work, and they're connected by fiber optic cables running in those orange tubes you see in the foreground. Ever wonder where all that data that you access on the internet is stored? It's stored in giant data centers, like this Google Data Center. And all of the computers and storage in these data centers is connected on fiber optics, installed by techs like you see here. Some fiber optic techs work up in the air, too, like this tech installing fiber optic cables to a security camera in a Midwestern American city. Or this tech out in the middle of the desert installing fiber optic cable to a strange looking cell phone tower that's supposed to look like a cactus. There's another crew out in the desert in California 
installing fiber optic cable for a rural electrical system. Here's a fiber optic tech who's not afraid of heights. He's more than 200 feet high installing a fiber optic cable across the Suez Canal in Egypt. Here's a very interesting project. This is the Ivanpah Solar Facility in the California Mojave Desert. It's a solar generating station with 360,000 mirrors that concentrate light on towers to generate electricity. There are 13,000 fiber optic cables in this system that took techs from Las Vegas two years to install. San Francisco 49ers fans in Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California can use their smartphones during the game because of all the thousands of fiber optic cables installed to connect up Wi-Fi and cellular systems inside the stadium. At auto racetracks, fiber optics connects all the cameras for the sports networks and all the big screen TVs around the track so the fans can see what's going on. And race teams, like the Red Bull Formula One team, use fiber optics to connect all their computers they use at trackside to keep track of all of their cars and help their drivers win races. The military uses fiber optics for most of their communication needs also, and they train their techs in their own schools to be able to install fiber optics under field conditions. Those robots that weld together cars in car factories use fiber optics to allow them to communicate with the computers that tell them what to do. Fiber optic techs also help explorers around the world, like these scientists installing experiments at the Scott Amundsen base in Antarctica, connecting up on fiber. Or this underwater remote piloted vehicle used for undersea exploration. The cable that tethers it is fiber optics. Fiber optics is even used in fashion. Claire Danes wore this fiber optic dress to a big museum party in New York recently. And of course, fiber optic techs work in classrooms. Experienced techs help teach novices and newcomers the skills that they need so they can go out in the field and install fiber optics themselves. And of course, fiber optic techs work all around the world. This map shows where the FOA has more than 200 schools teaching and certifying students to install fiber optics around the world. If you want to see the world, become a fiber optic tech. Is this a career for you? Well, do you like to work with tools and build things? Are you curious about how things work? Do you have good manual skills? And of course, do you like to work with computers and enjoy technology? Do you already know basic programs like word processing, spreadsheets, and drawing? Do you like to work outdoors? Lots of fiber optic installation work is outdoor work, where you get to work outdoors in all the seasons of the year. Can you work well on it as a team, helping your fellow workers get their job done too? Can you follow directions? And something that's very important is, can you finish your own job? If this looks interesting to you, how do you get started? Well, the first thing to do is finish high school or get your GED. While you're in high school, work on basic math and English skills and develop good communication skills, both written and verbal. Maybe you'd like to do a science project with fiber optics. You can contact the FOA and we can provide both directions 
and the hardware you need to do a science project. Have your advisor or teacher contact us and we'll supply them with what they need. Then, of course, you can learn more about careers in fiber optics on the FOA website at foa.org slash careers. We're the Fiber Optic Association, the International Professional Society of Fiber Optics. Our focus is on training, and a lot of people we train are new people to the industry, like you.